Alright, I said it was coming. This is the review of... Of... The Boy Who Cried Werewolf. And... To be more than honest, it was actually a pretty good Nickelodeon movie. It's actually one of the best movies made on TV. And I wish my DVD recorder would have worked, but if it didn't, I couldn't find the disc. Probably could have found one if I didn't start searching within the last two minutes, but what are you going to do? But the... There's Ruffles in there. He fell asleep, never watched the movie. He's going to be pissed. But luckily for him, at 10 o'clock when it comes back on, I'm going to go to sleep with him. I'm going to go to sleep watching it. He's just going to watch it then. He didn't get to masturbate. Masturbate. So sad. But anyway, the quality of it and like the everything of it is actually pretty good. The story's pretty good. A lot of twists. And you think the vampires would be sissy vampires. Like, well, I don't want to say anything. Start any riots or anything. Or arguments. But they're actually pretty creepy vampires. And, oh, and the final battle, that was actually pretty cool, too. Even though at the beginning, the werewolves were kind of, like, more territorial. Well, I mean, that's kind of wolf-like, so, I mean, that's pretty good that they thought about that. As in, the werewolf would just sit there and watch, but, he, like, the werewolf would growl and... Do, do all this crazy wearable stuff. Also, a pretty cool aspect is Victoria Justice. I forgot her name in the movie, and I never will remember it. Is she can do all the types of athletic stuff because of the werewolf ability, outside of being a werewolf. And the werewolves aren't that bad looking in this. It's actually one of the coolest transformations I've ever seen of a werewolf. It looks more like the buffy werewolf like like modernized transformation and all that and when the, she first became a werewolf it was actually pretty creepy I wouldn't say scary cause I don't get scared guys aren't scared damn it oh let's see one thing I don't understand this isn't a complaint is for somehow Victoria Justice we all know she's hot and everything but how is she like nerdy in this movie and one of the least popular students I mean even with the glasses she was still hotter than the other students that's one thing I didn't understand she did it was very good acting I mean, it's not like anything you would expect from a Nickelodeon or TV movie. It's better than anything I've ever seen on Sci-Fi Channel. Of course, that's not saying much, to be honest. That's most likely going to start an argument, but I don't care. When I used to watch Sci-Fi each, like, each Saturday and Sunday, if it was a good movie. What the fuck? It's not over? Oh, shit! Well, god dang it. I don't want to give away the ending. I'll just turn this off and begin to get in a minute.